Hey everybody, it's your favorite tech trainer, Bryn Brewer, and today we're going to talk about time blocking to make time for your video content. And we're going to go over how to edit videos on your phone. So we got a lot to cover today, so let's jump right in. So when I'm sitting around planning my videos, I make a spreadsheet and I have a time dates of everything I want to record and I have the date that I want to publish that on my social media or my YouTube channel and I also create a planning day in my calendar at least once a month where I can record all my videos and edit them. It usually takes me a full work day to record all my videos and then also edit all my videos. Sometimes it takes me a little longer to edit and I'll edit throughout that week but usually by week one of the month I have all my videos recorded, scheduled, and edited. Get that in your planner. Make sure that you time block time to actually record those videos. And it doesn't matter if you're wearing the same thing, but if you're worried about it, get you a bunch of shirts and change your shirts out for each video. So let's get started. My two favorite apps for mobile editing, CapCut and InShot. Yes, CapCut and InShot. So I'm going to show you what I love about CapCut and then I'm going to show you what I love about InShot. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into my Play Store and I'm going to download CapCut. So you can see this is what it looks like. And then I'm also going to download InShot. This is what InShot looks like. It's a video editor and maker InShot. So make sure you get those two downloaded. That's what we're going to be using today. And I'm just going to go into my video editor CapCut. And what I love about CapCut is you can do a new project, edit a video that I just did. And so I'm going to add that. And then at the bottom here, you can see all of the effects that I can do. So I'm going to click on my video, make sure it's highlighted. Look, I can click on remove background so I can take the background out of my video if I want to and add this onto another video later. I can extract the audio so then it takes the video and the audio and puts it into two separate lines on my timeline at the bottom. So then if I don't want the audio, I can just take it and take the volume and either turn it down or I can delete that if I want to. So I just would select it and then click delete. Now if I didn't like that I just press undo and it comes right back but then I can at least separate the audio from the video. Comes in extremely handy. Those are my two favorite features on CapCut. Once you're done you just click this top arrow in the top right and it exports your video onto your phone. Then you click done and then you have your video in your phone. Now I want to go over to InShot and I want to show you guys all the powerful features inside of InShot. I'm going to click on the video button. I'm going to click on new and then I'm going to scroll through my videos and I'm going to select all the ones that I want by just tapping the ones I want to bring into my actual video that I'm editing. So once I have everything selected then I click the green check mark at the bottom. And now you can see I have a timeline at the bottom of all the videos I just pulled into the actual app. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to click on Canvas at the far left hand side and I want to make sure that I click on the TikTok or the 9x16 if I'm doing a vertical video. And then I want to click on these left check marks and that's going to apply to all of my clips. And then I can scroll through and everything looks good. And then I also want to click on the first video, scroll over and click on volume and turn it down. And then again, I want to click on the left check marks and apply to all because I want to turn the, the volume down on all my video clips because I am going to add sound inside of my social media apps. So I'm going to go to TikTok with this video and add sound later or Facebook Reels and add sound later or Instagram Reels and add sound later. Also, between each video, you can add a transition if you want. So you can see, oops, see that little pencil looking button? So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on the transition you want. These are all the basic free ones. I like this one, so I'm going to click on, again, this left hand check mark, and that's going to apply to all. So now you can see if I play my video, there's no sound. It has all the transitions. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first video. Scroll over to speed and click on speed and do 10 or as close as I can get to 10. 
and click the check mark and I'm going to do this to all my videos clips. There is no apply to all for this one. That's okay. Okay, now I have all my speed done on this video. Pro tip when you're doing uh, speed is using a stylus. It helps to be more accurate. All right, now I'm just using my finger, but if you have a stylus, that would help. The next thing I want to do is I want to select my first clip and click on text. And I want to add my text. I can click on the color wheel to change the color. I can scroll through and change it here as well. I can click on this and change the font. Click on the little A's right here. So the color wheel, the font, the orientation, and the transition in and out. So I want mine centered, which it is. I can also change the size. I can change the spacing of the letters and I can change the spacing of the lines. When everything looks good for you, I'm on my in. So as you can see, this is in and then we have out. So when I want to click on out, I'm going to do the same thing. See, when that looks good, we're just going to click our little check mark right here. And then we have our video. Now you can see I have the wording here. I can click on it in my timeline and you see it pops in and out. It's kind of big, so I'm going to select it and use two fingers to make it a little smaller. I'm also going to change the duration by clicking and holding the right side there. And then I'm also going to move it up into the top. So now you can see it's only going to come on at the very beginning. And I set my duration. I like the way this looks. It may be a little fast. I might go through and change everything a little bit, but for now that looks good. If I wanted to move the words, I would select them, long hold, and then I can make it a little bigger, but long hold, and then I can move it anywhere I want on the timeline. And so you can see if I move it here behind the white line where I'm currently playing, that's where it would show up. So you can see, look, I'm actually going to make it last the whole video. You can see that's the whole video. So there we go. And my video is done. It's going to play it one last time to make sure everything looks good. When that's done, I'm going to click the check mark and then we're ready to save our video. But first we want to click on the InShot logo in the bottom right hand side. Click on the free remove so that we can remove that logo. Once we've watched our ad, then we can click on the save button and click save and it saves it inside of our phone. So now we press save, we're converting the video, it's going to save to our phone, and then we can go put that on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, and TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. Now you have all you need to take your social media videos to the next level. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer CapCut or InShot, or if you found another free video editor that you like better. See you next time!